Welcome to the 15-Minute Financial Feast Podcast, bringing you 15-minute segments to help you retire with purpose on time. We're serving up food for thought and bread for the head. Are you hungry to learn? Here are your hosts, Mark Triplett and Troy Westendorf. Welcome to another episode of the 15-Minute Financial Feast. Today, you are listening to the audio from a live television interview where one of our favorite local news station anchors asked us questions about a financial topic on the minds of many hardworking folks in our community who are trying to make good decisions and get ahead. The Federal Reserve is meeting this week and is expected to announce another interest rate increase tomorrow. A local financial professional, Mark Triplett from Triplett Westendorf Financial Group, joins us to share how this latest rate hike could impact our finances. Thank you for being here. We're taking on something that is stressing so many people out right now. Why would the Federal Reserve increase rates, interest rates again? Well, thank you for having me, Samantha. Uh, really, they're trying to slow the economy down in September. That's the latest uh, inflation data that we received. Uh, the, yeah, the, the prices year over year, we're up about 8.2%. And they're just trying to slow that back down to an inflation rate closer to 2%. That's really their target. So we're way off pace from that. And they feel the pressure to continue to really do the only thing that they can do to, uh, to slow the economy down, which is raise interest rates. And they're trying to kind of destroy demand by making it more expensive for consumers to borrow money. And how does that do the higher interest rates impact our wallets? Well, that's a great question. If you're carrying debt, if you have financed um, a car or you have money on credit cards or you're in the market for buying a home and you're looking to finance uh, the home you know, with a mortgage, all of that is going to cost you more than it did in the past. Credit cards are, you know, the finance charges on credit cards are upwards of 19%. Um, if you go to buy a vehicle, you're probably going to see your auto loans increase. And mortgage rates just recently hit 7.2%. That's We haven't seen that in a very long time. It's a far cry from the 3% interest rates we have become accustomed to over the last few years. Wow. And what can we do now to prepare our finances for further interest rate hikes in the future? I would say if you can, if you have the means, pay down your debt. Don't carry those those expensive finance charges. Uh, Samantha, I've met folks that have you know, thousands, if not tens of thousands of dollars in credit card debt, in credit card debt that they're paying finance charges on. Meanwhile, they have money in a savings account or a CD or a money market, and it's earning next to nothing. And all they have to do is take those dollars and go pay off the money that's that's actually costing them a lot. And uh, and simple things like that, pay down that credit card debt have a long-term perspective, build an emergency fund so that when emergencies do arise, you don't feel pressure to put money on plastic and, and have, expose yourself to those high finance charges and really be wise with the cash flow coming into your household, going out of your household, develop a spending plan that you can manage with your income cash flows and start paying down those, uh, those debts if you're carrying them. So when it comes to minimizing our loss, and then a big question, is there anything we can do to take advantage of rising interest rates? Well, there's great news. So interest rates are going up, but not just for finance charges. Savers, for the first time in nearly two decades, are getting rewarded for having cash on hand. There are uh, online savings accounts that are yielding upwards of 2%. Now, I know that's not anywhere near the, the pace of inflation, but at least that's better than nothing. Um, there are other places that are interest-bearing that are yielding as high as 5% on, on savings. So we haven't seen this in a very long time. Savers have been punished for decades, and now those who have cash on hand that are willing to put that money uh, aside for their future just in a savings vehicle um, are really earning some interest that they haven't seen in a very long time. Wow. Wise advice. We can all take something of what you said. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me, Samantha. You've been listening to the 15-Minute Financial Feast podcast. Remember, every dollar has a purpose and every dollar has a timeline. If you have questions about today's topic, schedule a call with a team member. Visit www.mypt5.com. Until next time, be sure you're taking steps to retire with purpose on time. Mark Triplett is an investment advisor representative of and advisory services offered through Royal Fund Management, LLC, an SEC registered investment advisor. Nothing contained in this program should be considered an offer to buy or sell securities. Different investments have different risks associated with them and not all investments are appropriate for all investors.